To study pulsatile pulmonary pressure flow relationships, this protocol explains how to isolate, ventilate, and perfuse mouse lungs. The trachea is surgically exposed for ventilation. Then, the heart and lungs are isolated so that the pulmonary artery and left atrium can be cannulated. The pulmonary system is then perfused. Experiments are performed by altering pulmonary artery flow magnitude, waveform, and or frequency. The resulting pulmonary artery and left atrial pressure waveforms are recorded and demonstrate the pulsatile pulmonary pressure flow relationships. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods such as in vivo preparations is that changes in pressure flow relationships, pulsatile pressure flow relationships, can be obtained in the absence of changes in volume status, sympathetic nervous system tone activity, and effects of anesthesia. Also, most isolated lung preparations measure only steady pressure flow relationships, whereas our technique permits pulsatile pressure flow relationships to be determined. This method can help answer key questions in the field of pulmonary physiology, such as how does pulmonary vascular disease affect pulsatile pulmonary hemodynamics? Or how does large pulmonary artery stiffening affect right ventricular afterload? Visual demonstration of this method is critical as exposing the heart and lungs and securing the cannula in the pulmonary artery is difficult to learn. Excess pressure from instrumentation can cause edema in the lungs and improper cannula placement can puncture the pulmonary artery. Before beginning the experiment, it is necessary to prepare the IL-1 system used to ventilate and perfuse the ICU.